I am Dee Collins, Pastor D, Dunamis D, just D. And I want to thank you for tuning in to Dunamis Woman today because we have nuggets for you that is strictly based upon the kingdom. The kingdom, it's all about the kingdom. I can't say it enough. I can't stress it enough. You're going to hear it. You're going to hear it. You're going to hear it because it's all about the kingdom. And one thing the kingdom requires, it requires the truth. The truth will make you free. So I want you to get a pen, get a paper, and I want you to intensely listen because the word of truth will set you free. And I'm going to teach you because it's all about the kingdom. You, me, we're in a relationship. And I want you to stay tuned because after this teaching, I'm going to come back and I'm going to engage with you. I'm Pastor D and I'm looking forward to you. Well, welcome to Dunamis Woman Today. I am Pastor D, and I am here because I am just so excited about being with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I am here with Michelle Obasi, co-host of this show, but we, Michelle, we are raising the voice of our men we worldwide. We are. Nah, we don't have any men here, so they don't understand that. You know what I mean? Exactly. But the necessity of needing the man as a father, mm -hmm. the man as the son, yeah. the man as the nephew, mm -hmm. the man as the brother, does that make sense? I mean, that's the core of our existence. That's the core is of the our man. existence is the man. Because the man. without that sperma mm -hmm. meeting that mother's egg, we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. We as women have taken on so much and we think we could do it alone. But it's left damages in the places of our soul. Mm -hmm. And that's just the real deal. It has. And it the really kingdom has. is about healing. The kingdom is about resurrection. Mm -hmm. The kingdom is about wholeness and to restore that which we lost. In so order. we came back with another segment of this because, you know, last week it got so good. Mm -hmm. and, you, I, and you're talking about, yeah. that's me, that's me, and all this other stuff. And I'm right. like, you know what? L let's talk about it some let's, more. Let's, well, you were talking about last week, you mm -hmm. talked about Jarius and him pressing forward mm -hmm. and pursuing Jesus mm -hmm. on behalf of his daughter to get her healed. Worship. He worshiped. Yes. He, yes. he bowed. He bowed down. Yes. In a posture of worship. Yes. Yes. He yes. didn't try to entice him. He didn't try to do anything. Mm -hmm. Worship. He yes. worship. Yes. But at the same time, so I'm looking at just this Jesus right here. Mm -hmm. Here's Jairus, but here's the woman with the issue of blood. Yes. Yes. And as he's worshiping mm -hmm. and pursuing, she took advantage took of the advantage time. Of the this season is horror. That horror. H O R A. That's the Greek term for. Hour. It's for the hour. Within that hour, within, within that, that hour. dispensation of time, there you go. she pressed, touched mm -hmm. the little mm -hmm. hem mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. his garment, and he, mm -hmm. he knew the virtue came yes. out of him. Yes. Looking around, looking yes. around, and she took advantage of that mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. She didn't mm -hmm. miss it. No. Had she done anything else mm -hmm. or been distracted, she would have missed that she opportunity. Missed. And then yes. she was healed. And she was healed. Instantaneous. Instant, instantaneous. That's, see, that's doing this. Because it's, because even in, 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 in Luke, it talks about Luke, the eighth chapter, it talks about how virtue left mm -hmm, his body. Mm -hmm. Well, that virtue literally means dunamis. Yeah. Dunamis left his body. Mm -hmm. Dunamis left his body and came into her soul yeah. and healed her from the crown of her head to the sole of her mm -hmm. feet. Whatever issue that was going on in her body was, a, was instantaneous. annihilated instantaneously. instantaneously. Because he said, who touched me? Because he felt the virtue. Mm -hmm. And it's people pressing all people up against pressing him, all, up all against the disciples. Him. But he knew. Yes. And she had to, and she didn't come forward at first. Yeah, yeah. She had to come and just let him know it was I. It was and, me. And, and, and he said, daughter. Daughter. Your faith has made you whole. Yes. Because you why? You pressed in a time and in an hour. Mm -hmm. H-O-U-R. Mm -hmm. In an hour. And and I was speaking to a, a group of women, you know, as I go around and I mm -hmm. speak to her, and I was talking to him to them and about the time and the season mm -hmm. and the and the hour. And I was talking about the Kairos, which is the season, mm -hmm. and I and I was talking about the Chronos, which is our natural chronological natural. time. One, and two, then I begin uh -huh. to enlighten them about horror, which is the hour that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And if we don't get it in this hour, mm -hmm. you will miss it. That's just how critical this timing is. Mm -hmm. In that moment, in that hour, if she had waited another day, and, and, uh, and right, another day, and I, I, you know, I told you I was like, this is me, this is me, mm -hmm. because biologically I don't know my father. Of course, mm -hmm. I have a mm -hmm. father, but I don't know him. I don't know his name. I've said that before. I don't even know how he looked. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. can come right there. I'd be like, hey, I, don't know <laughs> I, that I said that's me because yeah. my father's not here mm -hmm. to worship on mm -hmm. my behalf. Mm -hmm. But there, there is, he's putting me mm -hmm. with. Uh, in a in a situation mm -hmm. with a group of women mm -hmm. on a movement. On a movement. Now, if I do not mm -hmm. get it, mm -hmm. and I and I let something distract mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. it's a done deal. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He not coming around. Mm-hmm. I'm, just, mm-hmm. I'm just saying literally. He he was on that path mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. go that place mm-hmm. at that dispensation mm-hmm. time. He wasn't doubling back. No. He's no. not doubling back no. for me. No. So no. I'm not there when I'm supposed to be there mm-hmm. and I let distractions mm-hmm. get to mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. It's a wrap. And and, and, the, and the distractions are in my own mind. And I have to have that press. And we haven't even started with the sons, but I'm talking about it's first start with the daughters. Mm-hmm. And and I'm and I'm gonna share with you. Uh, probably when we come back, because we may end up have to take a break after I say yeah. this. But yeah. but what God revealed to me about this healing of the daughters is not even a conference. It's an Azusa, mm-hmm. and we're gonna talk about that. It's an okay. Azusa, and it, it's timing that has come around again mm-hmm. after a hundred years. Okay. It's a timing mm-hmm. that have come, and that's that Kairos. See, yeah. that Kairos is a season, a long period. Mm-hmm. That now you got to know that hour within that Kairos. Yeah. You got to know that horror within that Kairos. Mm-hmm. Because after you have waited all these years and generations and generations have come and gone, it's a miraculous movement that I'm bringing forth in this earth that your name, Dunamis Woman, will go down in history mm-hmm. because of the movement, not for us to be so all this and lovely, for the future generations. It's for, it's Just about a, the future think about what the four mothers and women went through mm-hmm. that we can even be here today. Mm-hmm. It was women who fought for us as women to vote. Black, white, blue, and green. This ain't a black movement. Mm-hmm, this ain't a mm-hmm. white movement. This is a woman's movement. Exactly. That a body of women will come together. So in that horror of that hour that you're talking about, that the woman intervened, pressed her way, mm-hmm. knew the hour based upon the father worshiping for his daughter mm-hmm. to be raised from the dead. It takes my mind back to in John, the fourth chapter, when Jesus was talking to the woman the Samaritan woman Mm -hmm, at the mm -hmm, well. mm -hmm. And Jesus, naturally, you all know, asked asked her questions about her husband or whatever, and she told the truth. And so he also told her that the father is seeking for worshipers, Mm -hmm. women like unto that father, Mm -hmm. and the father who got his daughter raised from the dead that is seeking for worshipers who will no longer conceal their mess, who will no longer tell lies, Mm -hmm. who will no longer say, you know what, I'm good when you're not. Mm -hmm. You know, we got that term, you know, ask somebody how you're doing. I'm I'm good, good. you know, and you're not good. Just like we say, I'm blessed and you're not blessed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're hurting on the inside, but no longer will want to put this mask on and just go to church and say, I'm good, I'm blessed and highly favored and you're not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. Right. Because that truth will cause you to come into a posture of, of worship. worship. And see, if people miss that. Of worship. Because it, truth. it makes me think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and, and we don't want to go back into the crack crevices of our minds yeah. to think about some things. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That no, my father did not impart unto me. My father did not take the time to give me what I needed. The mother and the father were struggling, fulfilling what they needed to fulfill. Mm-hmm. And I missed out on something. Mm-hmm. Even if they had to go to work, even if they made a lot of money, even if they was traveling, even if they was doing, it doesn't matter. It could be good works, but it wasn't edifying for me as a daughter. Exactly. It was edifying for our pocketbook. It was edifying for us mm-hmm. to have the house to live in. It was edifying for us to have the car to drive in. Don't mm-hmm, get me mm-hmm. wrong. But it wasn't edifying for the soul of who I am. Mm-hmm. A daughter. A daughter. A daughter. A daughter. Does that make mm-hmm. sense? It does. And it, 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 it makes me, when you talk about worship and truth, you know, it, it makes me just really think about all the things that we do. Yeah. We just don't know what we're doing. We're just mm-hmm. doing stuff we're out, doing of it out of formality. You know, when you spoke about worship and, and, and truth coming out, I mean, that's that's how you get mm-hmm. into true worship, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and then the, you know, is it might be lawful, but is it edifying? Edifying. That's what it As says. That's what Apostle Paul said in Corinthians. It may be lawful, but is it edifying? But we just keep going and going Correct. and going as Correct. opposed to. Really understand and having that seek. And, and and that's why we as women have to not only just come together for healing, but it puts us in a posture of worship. And that worship literally is where I can stand in the gap for another woman, another mm-hmm. mother. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Even when we are on the prayer call, I mean, just crying out for other mothers who yeah. have abandoned their daughters. You see what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Just me imagine what state my daughter would be in and they got issues already. You right, see what I'm saying? Right, right. But how much more issues would they have if I did not even give unto them what I endeavored to give unto mm-hmm. them? Not just a house, not just a car, but myself. 
Right. But I had to become healed as a woman to even be able to give them myself from a mother's perspective. Now I got to go deeper to the level of a daughter mm -hmm. to give them more than they require. And just like our father want to give us more than we require, we got to get healing so we can give more than what's required. Mm -hmm. What did Luke say in 12 uh, chapter verse 47? And, and this is what he gave an account of Jesus speaking. Luke didn't, Luke didn't say it. He was just giving an account of what mm -hmm. Jesus was saying. Much is given, much, much is required. required. Mm -hmm. The master, not the savior, mm -hmm. the master is saying much is given, much is required. Mm -hmm. And if you don't give that which was required, he said many lashes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not, not a few, many. Now that which you don't know, you're still going to get a few. Right. So it's just like if my daughter didn't know, I'm going to give her a little reprimand. Mm -hmm. But if she know many, many, many. And, and refuse, oh, that wrath is coming mm -hmm. really, real good. Because I've told you, I've taught you, I've done all that, and now you're going to just defy me? It's more required of you. The more I've been imparted into them, it's more required. Mm -hmm. More required. And the more that your father imparts into you, it's more, more, more required. Is required. More is required. And, and then it, you can require more of them. And then and the they Bible, can require more of and, and, and we usually stop the scripture right there, but it also goes on to say, the more you ask of me, the more I, you must commit to. And that's, the the that's, more you add, much is given, much is required. The more ask, the more commitment. Mm -hmm. it, 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 that's just, the, that's what it is. And that's what the kingdom requires. That's not what the pastor requires. That's not what your church requires. That's what the kingdom requires. And the kingdom brought you in this earth that you may execute according to heaven's mandate and heaven's plans. And that's why we have to seek the Father. Because mm -hmm. right now, the Father. generationally, we're not getting better. And we, now and I know we're, why. But we're getting worse. Much, and, is re much is required, but we're not, we're not taking the time to seek what is being required, we, all, so we can't require better. All we have to do is look at our news. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the things that's going on in this world is not nothing of God's fault is kingdom citizens that he's put on here to operate in his authority as legal agents. We are the agents of change. We're mm -hmm. going to take a break. We're going to come right back, Michelle, mm -hmm. because it is all about the kingdom. Stay tuned. Allow me some time to talk to you about kingdom partnership. I am a member of Dunamis Woman Ram International Ministries. We admonish each and every one of you to become a kingdom partner. It's about truth as not concealed. Do you know your purpose? Do you know anything about kingdom living? We live in the world, but we should not be of the world. The kingdom partnership is actually just opening you up to a new level of truth, opening you up to doors, opening you up to the, the good news and the gospel of Jesus Christ, his message, his ministry. We model that here at our ministry. And with our kingdom partnership, you will receive a coaching session for 30 minutes with the pastor, Pastor D, or with one of us in the ministry. In addition to that, you will receive a book, How to Pray with Power on Purpose. It's not just about prayer, but it's about praying with power, and it's about praying with purpose, with specificity for your life. That's what the Kingdom Partnership gives you. It actually allows you to understand who you were made to be, not who you've become, not who the world has told you, and not what you think the world wants to see. But who did God call you to be? kingdom-minded citizen. And that's what we ask you to partner with us in, to know who you are. It's not about us. It's not about what we receive, but it's about the truth that we're offering and we're able to give you as a partner. I thank you in advance for visiting our website, www.dunamis-woman.com. I thank you in advance for calling 1-855-BE-DUNAMIS. Become a partner. Understand your citizenship. You are a son and a daughter at the table. Let's start living who we really are as kingdom citizens. Through kingdom partnership, I ask you to join Dunamis Woman Ram International Ministries. Thank you, and I look forward to hearing from you. Well, there you have it all. Oh. My Lord, we need your kingdom partnership. Mm -hmm. Now, that kingdom partnership does not just mean we need your little $30 because we know that that can't fund the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But that's just a small portion the kingdom requires to give you so much so and true. more. And the mm -hmm. more that you're going to get is rich relationships mm -hmm. with powerful women. You know, you, you talked about before we went to a break about the hour and what came to my mind is coming back. 
uh, we had someone who called in for a kingdom partner, and, okay. and I took the, the time, the 30 minutes, and it was, oh, her, she is just hilarious. She was, I mean, it was the most richness of what I've heard in a woman's voice in a long time. Okay. And <laughs> just thinking about it makes me laugh. And, and she said, Pastor D, I've been watching you for a long time, mm -hmm. but the hours come that no longer can I just sit back. And Come watch. on now and mm -hmm. watch. Mm -hmm. And that is indicative of every woman. I, we have been on television for years mm -hmm. and that's okay because we yeah. had to just keep going. We had to keep going. We had to keep going. But I am adamant that this is an hour that women are going to come forth mm -hmm. that has been watching for a long time because no longer can they just sit there. And the richness was about relationships. Mm -hmm. And she's a part now of the Leadership Institute and the Kingdom Coaching Program because she said, I got gifts, I got talents, and you are going to see her on this show because mm -hmm. this show is not about me. It's not just about you. It's about the women mm -hmm. that got gifts, that have ministry, that have leadership, that have callings, and no longer can she just sit in the pew and just not do anything. She has to get out of her what God has called her to do. And that's what this is all about. And now is the hour. And that's the kingdom of heaven. That's the kingdom. And that's, that's, that's what we're here for. And he's put me here as a mandate from heaven in this earth to give women opportunities for them to execute based upon the teaching, based upon the learning and build their own ministry, build their own business, build their own. But guess what? I'm a businesswoman. I'm an entrepreneur. I can't have success without other business partners collaborating exactly. with me. Exactly. It's business. One of my mantras for my business uh, in the commercial industry is branding and building business to business mm -hmm. like unto the kingdom. That's the model for the kingdom. But we want our own separate stuff. You know, it reminds me of uh, the analogy. Daughter is uh, the definition of daughter is branch mm -hmm. is branch is community. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a, a scripture which says the vine, mm -hmm. you know, and um, but there's also I look at historically a tree. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And a tree, root, an old tree has roots very, has very roots. deep. Very, very deep. And then you have branches. Mm -hmm. And so many of us in, in the community, many women, we want to separate ourselves mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. that old tree because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we think it's too old and Correct. too antiquated. But it's really where our roots are. Mm -hmm. It's really mm -hmm. kingdom, mm -hmm. the kingdom-minded mm -hmm. folks mm -hmm. all gathering mm -hmm. together. We're on this branch. Mm -hmm. When that person takes off that branch. It don't mm. hurt the tree. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I mm -mm. promise you that branch is not going to grow. It's not going to grow. It's just on the ground. And it's just on the ground. And it's, it's, it's trying to make its, its way. It's trying to make its way. There's no seed within that no, branch. No. So mm -hmm. it can't grow another no. tree. No. no. But you, if we stick in this tree mm -hmm. as women on this movement Correct. together, Correct. Mm -hmm. that tree will only get stronger. Correct. And the branches will grow from the tree. Exactly. From the tree. And from one branch comes another branch. And so your ministry, your calling, your business, your whatever will get stronger because of where the connection is. And those deep, And those roots will go deeper roots. and deeper and deeper. And the but the main goal, first of all, is that we become healed. Mm -hmm. Because it's not the, the, it's not God mm -hmm. that put us on this movement. It's not the pastor that put us on this movement. It's not the apostle that put us on this movement. Mm -hmm. It's our father. Mm -hmm. It's our father. And as disciples, women as disciples, we have to now be students and sit and learn. How do I apply this word with specificity for my life, mm -hmm. for my calling, for me being the woman, the wife, the mother, the, the professional, the minister, whatever you want to call, not just taking it from a generic point of view mm -hmm. with specificity. And that means time has to be taken. And that means women, um, like you said, we have women who are apostles. We have mm -hmm. women now who oh, are bishops. Yeah. We have women who are doing everything. But it's so hard to get women who have titles. Oh, well, yeah, it is. It together. Is. So that means that mm -hmm. we have to kind of lay down all of our little titles mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. of our issues mm -hmm. become mm -hmm. stripped of all of that mm -hmm. and just come together as women. Just mm -hmm. see the bigger movement yes. yeah. of daughters coming mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. for healing. Yeah. And yeah. it's not about yeah. us just and and yeah. only in this room, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. to go out. Yeah. It's to bring your young mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. and develop them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's going back to the older women. Yes, it who is. Or salt straight soldiers. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Who've been through this before, yeah, yeah. who can also, you know, I, I have a, a, a people that I talk to. Mm -hmm. And I remember my grandmother, you know, just as a daughter, she was just not healed. 
No, no. And, and I see how that has impacted not only her daughter, which was my mother, but me and then my daughter. And, and now it, it, because we profess Christ as Lord, mm -hmm. it is required of us to get miraculous results based upon the movement. And it's no kingdom without a movement. It's no kingdom without standing for a cause. Mm -hmm. It's no kingdom without a death. Mm -hmm. There is no kingdom. And the first death that we have to experience is a death to ourselves. Mm -hmm. I got to die to myself. You know, as you know, Michelle, you're with me every day. And I do. Daily. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I digress. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and, and I do a lot of speaking. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of coaching. I do a lot of one-on-ones. Mm -hmm. I do a lot. And I pour out a lot of myself. And I love it. It's, it's my breath. Okay. And. Very seldom I get an opportunity, and, and I, my mind is reminded of when uh, one of the associations that I speak at, you know, on a monthly basis, they had another pastor, another leader. Uh, he, he happens to be a pastor, but he had another leader speaking, mm -hmm. and I went to go sit just to go listen. I, I needed to receive myself, mm -hmm. and I'm just reminded because everybody around me was like, oh, you know, D, you know, you came, you came. I need to be fed myself. Yes, you do. I need it, it was so refreshing because we as leaders pour out. Mm -hmm. We as leaders pour out and we pour out so much that we could be depleted, but we have to humble ourselves have to. to be able to sit down and to be fed. Mm -hmm. And it was so refreshing. It was so stimulating. And he was talking about vulnerability and, and I'm sitting up there crying and I'm talking and I'm thinking, you know, mm -hmm. I was not the teacher. I was the student. Mm -hmm. And the student had so I was so honored to be a student. I was so honored because I needed and you and as a leader, you have to recognize what you need. Leadership Institute is just what it's for. It's for leaders. Mm -hmm. And you have to, and it's not a church. It's not a you, let me come every Sunday. It's not to take you away from your church. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. to take you away from what you're doing. But it's for you to recognize that you need to sit and be taught as well as a disciple. Mm -hmm. Because every time you give out, backlash is coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is, if it ain't nothing I've experienced in ministry, the more people I help, the more they talk about me. Mm -hmm. the, and they did that to Jesus. Right. The more I give of my substance, my, my house, my time, my money, my everything for the sake of the kingdom is those persons who turn up against you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to think that that doesn't do any bruising in your soul. You could be damaged and still move. And it's my responsibility to sit down and take in. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? To take in, but every time you want to go somewhere, somebody want to call on you to do something. You have to make the choice to say, "No, I'm not a doer today. Mm -hmm. I'm a beer. I'm a beer. I'm a we are human beings. I'm, I, I need to be a human doers. being. I don't need to be this big time apostle doing mm -hmm. stuff. I need to be a human." You know, I want to challenge anyone out there, mm -hmm. and you know, go ahead. I'm I want to challenge you if you um, know in your heart you're sick and tired, and sick and tired, and sick and tired of being uh, everything to everybody. And that healing must happen in your life as mm -hmm. a daughter. I, mm -hmm. I challenge you. I admire. I admonish you mm -hmm. to contact us. Mm -hmm. Seriously, contact us and allow yourself to be fed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I actually, you know, before I came to the ministry, I didn't know, but I, I was working with someone. I was becoming depleted. Yeah, yeah. And but I, I didn't. I was doing, doing, doing. You weren't and it becoming wasn't depleted. You were depleted. Was depleted. Yeah. And you I was saying, half dead. You was doing out of, yeah, you was, was a dead doing, woman doing. I was a dead woman walking, mm -hmm. but it wasn't until I allowed, humbled myself and allowed myself yeah. to come up under the yeah. teachings mm -hmm. and be taught. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it does require a humbling. That. Yeah. I actually became vibrant. Yeah. And started yeah. living. Yeah. And, and, and let me just say this, Michelle, because I, I want to say this even before I say what I said, before I said I was going to close. <laughs> But I bet you got what I said. I, got what you said. I know you got what I said. But I want to say this. Before you humble yourself, you have to be humiliated. Mm -hmm. There is no humility without humiliation. Mm -hmm. And because we feel humiliated, it makes us abort the process of humbling ourselves. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. But without humility, there is no exaltation. Okay. That's why I believe it's in Peter. He said, if you humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God in due season, mm -hmm. that's that Kairos mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's the season we're in, you will be exalted. Mm 
He didn't say the process was going to be long. Right. You just got to humble yourself. Exactly. Because as you humble yourself, he will exalt you. And you're not humbling yourself under the mighty hand of D. You're humbling yourself under the mighty hand of God. Now, when God speaks, that's a whole different authority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a whole different authority because it's God who created the heaven and the earth. Mm -hmm. The father didn't create the heaven and the earth. God, God created yeah. the heaven and earth. So he created the heaven and the earth. But the father sent down us from heaven to be executors in the earth as his legal agents. Mm -hmm. See, that's why it's all about the kingdom. And if you don't do it, somebody else will. Because every person, man or woman, son or daughter that's born, it's an opportunity for the kingdom to recruit. And Most that's definitely. what apostolic is. It's a military campaign. It's mm -hmm. a recruitment. He's always recruiting for the kingdom. And that's why Matthew, I believe in the seventh chapter, uh, it says, narrow is the way and few who find it. Mm -hmm. That's the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Broad is the gate and many go down. Mm -hmm. And so that's just religion. Right. You're going to have these big old churches and they're just going through the formalities. Not, exactly. Not, no, I am kind of knocking it, but not knocking it with maliciously. I mean, that's the truth. Because the, the, the people are not getting the kingdom mandate for their lives. And that's why the healing, and this was my clothes that I've got too. See, I didn't forget about it. The healing of the daughters, Azusa is a movement. It is. And the Leadership Institute is not being planted in one place. It's coming to a, 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 a place and a city near you. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. I am confident that you were immensely blessed. You know why? Because if I don't believe anything else, I believe in the Word of God. It literally is the truth that will change your whole life. And I am adamant on about teaching the Word of God because that is my purpose for living. Without that, I have no reason for being in this earth. My mission is to dissolve the works of the enemy because that's the opponent of the kingdom, the devil, to stop a movement. And you should be on one accord with myself to stop the movement. That is the mission. So I want you to engage. I want you to be a part. It doesn't matter if we're in the United States. It doesn't matter if we're in the U.S. Virgin Islands. It doesn't matter because God is the God of all and he's our father. Engage with us. Give me a call. Go to the website, www.dunamis-woman.com, and allow me to send you our free newsletter because it's all about the movement. God bless you. Oh, man.